So like millions of other people this weekend, I went out and saw the brand new movie, Us, from the amazing Jordan Peele. And there's a bunch of channels out there doing reviews of the movie, as well as throwing out their theories of the ending and other things like that inside the movie. But in this video, I want to take a look at the very real condition in which people believe that other people around them have been replaced by imposters. And I got some great news for you, whether you've seen this movie or not, it's all good, baby, because this is completely spoiler free. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health, but I'm also a psychology nerd, and I love learning about psychology, as well as different mental health conditions and all of that, and try teaching them to all of you as well. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, because I'm always taking things from pop culture, like movie, TV, music, and all of that, to make some videos. So anyways, um, my beautiful girlfriend and Tristan and I, we just got back from seeing the movie Us last night. Mwah, amazing movie, go out and see it. But before we went out and saw the movie, I was kind of like going down this rabbit hole just watching a bunch of different interviews with Jordan Peele as well as the cast members because Get Out was a phenomenal movie and I knew this movie was gonna be great as well. So I kind of want to get inside the mind of Jordan Peele. And I watched a bunch of videos of him like explaining, you know, what horror movies he liked growing up and things like that. And also where his idea for this movie Us came from. And I actually came across this clip. When did you get the idea for this one? Uh, the, the idea came, you know, I, I've been terrified of the idea of doppelgangers mm -hmm. since I was a kid. I had, uh, you know, I always had this vision of like seeing myself across the subway platform and just kind of thought like, what if you saw yourself and then you're like, if that's not creepy enough, what if you went like, you know, <laughs> the other you sort of smiled at you. And so this, this kind of, this idea of like, all right, what's that about? And, um, you know, I, I've been, I, I put it, I, the idea of a doppelganger family, I thought was like, okay, well then my imagination went crazy and out came this film. So yeah, after watching that clip and seeing that he had this like fear when he was a child of like seeing a doppelganger version of himself, I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, huh, I wonder if this is like a real thing. I wonder if this is isolated, like Jordan Peele is the only one who worries about this or if others might worry about it as well. And the other thing that I was thinking about was that movie, The Truman Show with Jim Carrey way back in the day. And I was wondering if this movie might trigger some delusions in people. So those of you who don't know about The Truman Show, The Truman Show was a movie um, starring Jim Carrey in which his entire life was being filmed and it was inside this like super dome and everybody in there was actors and everything. Well, after that movie came out, there was a lot of people who s suffered from the delusion that they were inside The Truman Show. All right, so I was wondering, I'm like, huh, I wonder if this might lead to something like that, okay? So anyways, I did some research and there is actually something called the cop gras delusion, okay? And this comes from the French psychiatrist, Joseph Cop gras, okay? So the cop gras delusion is also known as the imposter delusion, which should not be confused with imposter syndrome, which is something completely different, but, Joseph Cockross saw this way back in like the late 1800s, early 1900s, where he was seeing cases of people who thought people in their lives were being replaced by imposters. So once learning about that, I'm like, okay, how many other people struggle with this? And who is like the expert? Who is out there studying this delusion, right? So there is actually a man by the name of Dr. V.S. Ramachandran, okay? So he is actually the director of the Center for Brain and Cognition at the University of San Diego, okay? So he does a lot of studies around, you know, this idea that the movie Us might actually, you know, be real in some people's minds. So in an article from the American Psychological Association, they actually talk about, you know, Dr. Ramachandran and some of his findings. So what's interesting is this right here, where some people believe that this is actually Freudian. So Freudian, what does that mean? Well, uh, Dr. Sigmund Freud, he had this idea that, you know, all young men, they have this like sexual desire for their mothers. So some people believe that the cop gras delusion comes from that. So by believing that one's mother, for example, is an imposter, then, 
you don't really have to feel bad about your, you know, sexual fantasies of your mother if they're an imposter. But there are actually people who struggle with the Cockroach delusion who, for example, believe that their their dog was replaced by an imposter. And Dr. Wamatondran says, and I quote, I don't know how Freudians would explain that one. So what does Dr. V.S. Ramachandran actually believe this is? What does he believe that the Cockroach delusion actually is? So in this article from the American Psychological Association, it states, Research by Ramachandran and others suggests an alternative explanation. It seems that in healthy people, the brain's visual cortex relays information through two routes. One that goes to the temporal lobe where face recognition occurs, and one that goes to the limbic system, which registers an emotional reaction. In Copra patients, the route from the visual cortex to the limbic system is damaged, but the route to the temporal lobe remains unharmed, causing the person to see a woman who looks like his mother, but who sparks no emotional response. The mind explains that discrepancy by insisting that the woman is an imposter, Ramachandran posits. So what they actually did to Ramachandran, as well as a buddy of his who's a philosopher, they did some experiments where they hooked people up to something that detected skin conductance, okay? So basically what they did was they sat people down and they showed them a bunch of pictures. So for example, they sit a young man down who might be suffering from the cop rod delusion and they'd show him pictures of a bunch of random people, right? And then they would show him a picture of their own mother. And basically what the skin conductance does is they'll have a reaction like an emotional reaction. Your body actually reacts when you have an emotional response. But people with the cop rod delusion did not have any change in their skin conductance. Whereas they took a control group and they did the same thing, but when showed pictures of their mother or different family members, the skin conductance changed, right? Because they had an emotional response to this. So part of this delusion is that the mind believes that if you're not having an emotional response to somebody, right, like that's close to you, your mother, your father, your, your husband, your wife, whoever it is, then they must be an imposter. That's what the brain tells them. So in this article from Psychology Today, Dr. Ramachandran, um, he actually talks about one of the patients that he worked with who suffered from the cop rod delusion, where when he would see his own father, he didn't have any kind of emotional reaction. He thought his father was an imposter and all of that. But whenever he spoke to his father on the phone, he believed that it was his father. So what Dr. Ramachandran argues is that yes, this is an issue with the visual cortex. So humans are very visual creatures, okay? Like we see things and then we process them. So if if that's like the strongest part of your brain processing things visually, when you see somebody, you're not having that emotional response. But when it's completely auditory, like on the phone, then that emotional response might happen because you don't have anything to visualize. So there's a bunch of different um, reasons as to why the cop rod illusion happens. So in this post from Medical News Today, they talk about the different instances of it. So this is seen a lot with people who are suffering from Alzheimer's disease as well as dementia. But when it comes to psychological disorders, this is commonly seen in different forms of schizophrenia. So how do you treat this thing? In the article from Medical News Today, they talk about some of the most common treatments for the cop rod delusion include antipsychotics, therapy, surgery, as well as memory and recognition medications, all right? So what they also talk about is one of the most common forms of therapy that they use for people who are suffering from the cop rod delusion is validation therapy. And what that is, is basically it's a therapeutic technique in which the therapist is working with the person to validate their beliefs, to validate their delusions. And the goal of this therapy is to help reduce that anxiety. So if you can imagine just for a minute thinking that you know your own mother is an imposter, a therapist working with that person, they're gonna help calm down that anxiety because you can get pretty anxious thinking that you know this woman you know has replaced your mother. So that's actually interesting to me because just based on some of the other research I've done and looking at different um, psychological disorders, like for example, bipolar disorder when somebody is in a manic state and they're having these kind of you know grandiose delusions like one of the things that you don't do is play into that but since this seems like it's more of a, a brain issue maybe it's more about 
you know, harm reduction, if you will. But anyways, anyways, I thought this was just really interesting just after seeing the movie Us and, you know, interviews with Jordan Peele and then finding out that this is an actual condition that people are struggling with. But anyways, if you've seen the movie Us, let me know what you think about that movie down below. I'm actually thinking about doing one more video about it um, because there were some themes around PTSD and anxiety. Um, so yeah, if you want me to do one of those videos, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get involved in our monthly Q&A and exclusive content and all sorts of stuff, click or tap on that icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.